Hello and welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to continue the portal slide link discussion and this time we're going to make a ladder that you're going to go up on and it's going to go to another scene by that way. And there'll be some things to learn here and then we'll also make it to where you can fall down as well. And so with that said, let's get started. All right, so here we are on our scene. You will notice that I did move the ladder from right here to right here. And then I have duplicated this scene and I erased all the tiles except for the ladder that we'll be using to transition upward. Now, if you didn't see my last video, it, it goes over a lot of the basics of the slide link portal where we set up four scenes right here. And so you might want to watch that if you're having any questions during this video. All right, so let's go to the transitions uh, portal transfer tab. You'll see these are our previous portals that we set up. And so we're going to add another portal. We're going to select from scene one to scene five, we want it to go to the player layer. We want it bi-directional, so both ways, uh, up and then down. And then we want it to match the X. Last time on these ground ones, we were matching the Y, but on a vertical one where we're going up and down, we want to match the X. The X is this coordinate right here that my mouse is going along. So we want to make sure that wherever we're at, we're matching it. It's not that big of a deal because we're ladder locking and we're kind of stuck in that ladder position, but it does, it's just a good habit to get into. And then we want the appearance, we can just say pressing up and then uh, down. All right, so we're going to just size this portal to be similar to the ladder here. So 14 pixels looks good. And then uh, 16, just the width of a tile, that's fine. And we just want to make sure that the next one is the same so 14 and then 16 and then we'll bring it down to where it's supposed to be now this is also going to be some trial and error okay so i've set this up like i would if i was first doing it and then we'll just learn from there all right and then i'm just going to set it well i'll just do it as if i'm i'm, I'm doing it like this so i just want the bottom of the ladder and it's kind of hard because you can see in this scene right here that you get that quarter of a tile for the scene if it's a, a one height scene. So we have one height. And so you get this quarter of a tile. So it's it's kind of interesting when you place a tile and you're like, is it going to be usable or not? Because we know that the player accessibility is also set to the height of the screen as well. So anyway, let's just start with this and we'll go from there. All right, so the portals are set. Let's go to the AB settings. I'm going to apply the same, and then we're going to slide down because the since A is going from 1 to 5, the screen will slide down. So we'll slide down. We'll do 0.5, and then the movement will already be set for the way back. So now let's test this out. We can play test here, and we can go up. And we can see a couple things there. It didn't transfer quite right. And then if we go uh, down, it won't transfer at all. Matter of fact, I'm back to walking. All right. So let's talk about what's going on. First off, uh, when we go up here and we slide and it's going to idle, that is because it is not maintaining the uh, the state that you're in. It's reverting back to idle. And so how we can we can solve this in one way. And then the other thing that we need to do is make it to where one you can because we, we can't portal transfer back. So we got to do some C manipulation to get that accessible to us. So first, let's work on the that idle pose. Let's get you into climbing. And I, I really want to show this. So I'm going to lengthen the time for completion to 1.5 seconds so that we can really uh, see exactly what's going on here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to force the player to be in a climbing state. And how we're going to do that is with a switch. And so I'm going to create a switch in the global switch, so it, it, or a common switch. So it's going to be in resources and then switches here. And we're going to call this switch a portal uh, ladder. So you're climbing a ladder, and that's how you will advance upward. Now we're going to go back to the transition here. And I forgot to name this. So we're going to go scene one. And then uh, bi-directional with scene five. And we're going to say that it's via ladder. All right. 
And this is where I start to specify my uh, portals. So this one would be, these ones would be via ground. So this means that, you, you know, your normal ground movement, jump, sliding, all that stuff will work. So I'm going to go ahead and change these right now to via ground. All right. And so we have via ladder. So when we first hit the portal, we're going to turn this climb via ladder on. And then when we're, that's what this is doing, setting when touched by player. So when you touch the portal and it activates, it that thing will turn on. Then after the portal transfer, we're going to turn that switch off. All right. Now these are, these can be really hard to see. I'll give you a, a tip right here. If you want to be able to see these more uh, or better, you can actually rename the folder and abbreviate your project name. So in this case, I would say NBMS. So now this would read NBNS common, and then you'd see the hyphen, and then you would probably see part part of the name of that switch. So it's what I do on my uh, main projects anymore is I just abbreviate my project name. And so it's like three or four letters, basically. And then we'll say common, and then you'll be able to kind of see the switches a little better. It might help your project, might not. All right, so now we need to have behavior for when this switch turns on and then when it turns off. So we're gonna go to the player and we're gonna go to common actions. We're going to grab our climb idle because that's what can start the climb, right? And we're going to call this portal ladder. And we're going to get rid of these conditions on it. And we're also going to put this processing order to one so that it's ran first, or it has a higher processing order out of the other common actions. And the trigger is going to be if portal ladder is on. And then the out trigger is actually going to be something. <laughs> Normally we just lock them, right? Or, or something, but this one's gonna be if the uh, portal ladder is off. And then inside this portal transfer, we want the climb animation. We do not need the locking. And we don't need any of this, or yeah, we don't need any of this really but we do want the animation to be playing, so we don't want it frozen. Negative two is frozen. All right. And so this should work right here. Let's try this out. So we'll go up the ladder and now you can see that he climbs upward. Now he's going instantly into the idle because of the other bug, but at least that initial thing works where he can go straight up and it will maintain that position. Now the only thing left to do is to reposition this. I'm going to make it a little smaller like this because you might need other ones as well. But really, I think the, the latter one is the one specifically that I needed for this. All right, so now that that issue solved, let's go back to the scene and see what we can do about this. Now, one idea for, for going down, one idea that we can have is we can say, well, let's just set the uh, player accessibility higher. Because one thing that to know, this is good to know, is that the player accessibility, this, this box basically, it's part of the default tile set. So if you touch the boundary of this, even though it's not a tile technically that you're touching, it's considered tile wall. So when your conditions that say touching a tile wall of default tile, that's going to be your player detection. All right, so we could up this, we could up this by to say 250 and say that the player can just access more of this scene. And we can hit okay, and now let's try this. Right, so it transfers right. You can see that he's stuck in the, uh, the idle here though. So let's see what's going on. 
right? So there's a couple solutions to this issue, but the, the biggest thing is, is that this quarter tile is harder to work with. And so one of the things that we can do is we can go to the transitions here. We can grab this portal and we can drag it up to where the scene end is. And then we can also drag this up a little bit. Let's say, let's just drag it up a few pixels because what's happening is, is the area detection is not in the proper place it needs to be when the scene starts. And so it's thinking that it's going down from a climb or, or something else. So by just dragging this up 20, uh, so about four more pixels. And I did mention in the other video that you don't want it to, or you want them to be the same size as much as possible. Well, this is a case where you can get away with not doing it the same size because remember it's pulling you to the middle of this portal. So when you hit this portal, it's pulling you to the middle. So by extending it higher, that means that you're actually going further up. So in this case, that's a good thing. And we can use that to our advantage. All right, so let's go back to 20 there. And this should work. Let's play test. And we should be able to go up. And it's going to go up high enough to where it will let you be able to start climbing again. And then we can just go down and it will work. So we can go up again and then we can go down and everything will work. The other method, if for some reason you needed this extra space, because that may happen, the other thing that you could do is you could go to scenes here. You could uh, right or yeah, right click, go to scene setting. You could actually increase this to two. You could leave the accessible area to player increased, but not all the way. And then you can hit OK. And then with this now, you can uh, bring this tile down. Before, you only had access to this last tile. That was it. But now you can bring this down, and it's going to give you more area detection. So when you go to transitions and you put this portal back to here, let's just say, or just back to a normal position with the size of the 16 by 16. Now it's going to work properly just like before. So you have a couple options there. If you are looking for performance, then I would definitely recommend this, uh, bringing it up to 20 here. And then in the scene setting, having it just be the one height. So let's keep going with this for now. The last thing we need to add is the fall. So we're going to be falling from here back down. And so let's go to transitions here. And we're going to have to make another one. Now this is going to be a one way. So we're going to add a portal. We're going to say this is from stage five. It's a one way to stage one via fall. And so scene five to scene one, player layer, player layer. It's a one way. So we want just one selected. Uh, we'll size it ourselves. We want the X to match. All right. So let's start to size this. And let's go just a tile like this. And we'll go like this. And then out here, this is one that we are going to want the same size. So we'll go uh, 16, or sorry, 95 by 16. All right. So there is our fall setup. You will notice you don't want to do this. You don't want to drag this over. So you would want to end the fall on this side. And then if you wanted one on this side, you would have to make another one. I know that sounds kind of rough, but you don't want these overlapping. Now, and I'll, I'll do an experiment here because we might be able to get away since this portal is extended. We might be able to get a, away with it with it doing it. But if they were the same size or something like that, you wouldn't want to overlap this. I'll leave it like this for now. And so then in the AB, we're going to do a slide link up and we'll do another long one just so that we can see what's going on here. And we don't have to do anything with the switches because it should maintain the false state. So let's go to here. Let's go up. Let's go up here and let's jump down. And you can see that you jump down. Now, if that fall was too fast, and I think the falls are too fast in general, you can go to the objects, go to moving. You can adjust this land max movement. This is the max amount of speed 
that your player will fall out. So while gravity is increasing, once you hit a max vertical speed of 16, gravity will stop increasing it. So I actually think 16 is really fast, especially on a lower res game like this. So I think eight feels really good. It does add a little bit of float, but it's more consistent with the Mega Man kind of fall. So you can also go to six here and, and you can see the difference. So you can see you just fall a lot slower. All right, so I felt that having it, having or uh, taking it from 16 to eight just felt a lot better. All right, so now we can go back up here and we can fall and there we go. And so now let's try that portal uh, placement here where we drag it across like this. Whoops. And we'll drag it all the way to here. And then on this one, we'll drag it all the way to here. And this is just a test to see if this length right here is just enough to not trigger the other one. All right, so see, that's exactly what was happening. So yeah, you do have to have them separated. So we'll go back to fall here and bring that back to here. And this one back to here. Now, now you could create another one that's on this side, like I said, or you could just level design around it and you can go to scene five and you can say that on this level right here, we have uh, tile walls right here. And then we also could do something like this where this is going to be the continuation of the scene. Need to get my tiles right here. There we go. And this will be the, the fall. So this will continue the scene for however long. And the, But if you jump too early, this one will be the fall. So now when we play test here, we can see that now when we jump off, we go like this. But then if we jump off here, we can fall. All right. So that, I think, that's good for this video. There'll probably still be more because there there is more technical stuff that you can do. How do you portal transfer in the middle of a scene and maintain the camera position? That is possible if you're using a camera object. So we'll go into that on next videos or so. And uh, with that said, if you got any questions, uh, comments below, Steam Forms Discord, and we'll see you at the next video.